What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nunu, from the newsstand, where we are serving nothing but positivity. And I'm here at the premiere of Holiday Hideaway for BET+. Plus. Stay tuned for the tea. You already know we're giving you all the rundown from the carpet and for the premiere. Stay tuned. Tell us your name and your name in the movie as well. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Elijah Rashad Reed, and I play Darnell in Holiday Hideaway. Okay. Darnell in Holiday Hideaway. Tell us a little bit about your character. Ah, man. Um, he's a troublesome, mischievous little brother. Um, yeah, so I am Carly's youngest brother, the youngest of the family, the baby. Um, they may say I'm a spoiled brat, but at the same time, I just feel like I'm just living my life, enjoying everything. There's this... Uh, Darnell speaks from his heart. I think that's the best way to say it. Whatever whatever he's feeling, he, he's gonna say it. Okay. And uh yeah, the rest of it you gotta you gotta watch. It's, it's a very fun Okay, I think I know some Darnells. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> well go. without giving us too much, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about like what the film is about. Well, more than anything, it's just about you know, outside of just coming in for the holidays, but it's really just about, you know, as you continue to look for something outside of yourself, the things that are in front of you, um, it's just kind of that journey, you know, where, again, you're trying to find things that, you know, you feel like you're missing in life. But then as you go through whatever you need to go through, you realize everything that you needed was right at home. So more more than anything, she wants to separate herself from uh, the family because she feels like they're not embracing and celebrating her. And then by the end of it, she realizes everything she needed for the holidays was right at home. All right, that hit home for me because I'm away from home, so. Oh, really? Okay. What would you tell to the people who are maybe chasing their dreams in a different city or state and ma can't make it home for the holidays? Oh, man, I'd honestly say first and foremost, I hope you're able to have a tribe of your own. And if not, just continue to mainly try to keep as a positive attitude as possible through the highs and the lows, you know, more than anything, because, you know, it. It's easy to say it, but when you're in it, I completely understand that like it's very, very tough and community is very big. And also the biggest thing is don't be afraid to say like, I need help. Yeah. I think that's mainly like the biggest thing with whoever you feel comfortable with saying that with, but hopefully you can find somebody. And if not, there are people out there, you know, more than anything like, yeah. So yeah, say when you need help and more than anything, just take it a day at a time. That I saw. So. Period. Okay. Well, thank you for that tea. Thanks. Tell the people where they can find you on Instagram. Oh, well, you guys can find me at Elijah Rashad underscore. That's Elijah Rashad underscore on IG. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping thank with us. So Here with the beautiful Vivian, singer and songwriter. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. We're here at the premiere for Holiday Hideaway. How are you feeling right? Um, good. I was really excited to write songs for the film. I really want to get more into writing behind the scenes and not just for myself as an artist. So um, it's, you know, out of my comfort zone. And I really love writing to other people's stories. So I really enjoyed doing that. So I'm excited to hear it, you know, hear my stuff in the film. And, you know, I've, I've of course, watched it as we as we wrote to it. I've, saw the movie but I've never right. seen it like you know like in its project yeah completely. and polished and finished and all that yeah so I'm excited well, that's really interesting that you wrote yeah. music for the movie so mm -hmm. what was your creative process for that like um honestly just knowing the storyline of the film and the direction that they wanted me to go in and then like I'm really good if I'm given direction like with yeah. writing so and it, like I said it's fun for it to not be about me all the time <laughs> I love to write this somebody else's story, so I want to do more and more and more of this. So. Okay. Yeah. I love to hear that. I have a yeah. friend that wants to get her music in um, movies, so yeah. what advice yeah. would you give her to get started? Um, you have to be intentional about it, you know, because people always want you to, like people, like someone asked me today, like, well, when are you going to be in a movie? I'm like, that's really not, I've never really tried to be an actress. That's not really what I want to do. <laughs> so people sometimes push you where they think you should go. As a singer, you automatically want to act. So if you really want to write in movies or in film, like you should be intentional about it and let people know what you want to do, not what they think you should be doing. I yeah, because I deal with that a lot. <laughs> Find you on Instagram and where they can listen to your music. Oh, sure. I'm um, at I am Vivian Green on all the social media handles, and you can find me on all the platforms. All seven albums, they're all there. <laughs> Period. All right, guys, we're here with Miss Ella Joyce, and she is a part of the film tonight. So, if you can, Miss Ella, tell us a little bit about your character in the film. Well, I play a character named Rose, and um, myself and my husband. Well, in real life, it's Dan Martin, but he plays my husband in the film, okay. Thomas. We're Rose and Thomas in the movie. And um, we are the resort owners okay. where uh, 
people can come and get away and we have this wonderful tea place. So it's rose and tea. And we we make wonderful tea. And uh, I hope it kind of kind of becomes like a tea movie. You know, you yeah. watch all the other wonderful Christmas things going on, but got good tea going on too. If yeah. you're a tea drinker. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how does how what was your experience like, you know, working with Vivica and just the rest of the cast with creating this piece? Oh, well, I've worked with Vivica before. We did set it off together, and uh, so I've known her for a while. Um, we didn't actually have any scenes to work off of in this movie, but it was fun working with everyone else um, in the movie that I know I love Camille. She's absolutely wonderful to work with, and she's wonderful in the film. Okay. Well, tell us one thing that you would say is your favorite about the holidays. About the holidays? I just love resting. Just snuggling up with the one you love if you're lucky. So lucky that way. Yeah. And, uh, to, or to be around family and uh, to have that warmth and just enjoy resting with the holidays and all the sparkle and tinsel. You know, keep that where I can see it yeah. and then go snuggle up in my bed. I know that's right. She's here for the love and the positive vibes. Well, thank you so much for stopping with us and congratulations on the film. Well, thank you so much. Of course, thank you. So tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, you know, my character is Brandon and he I play uh, the boyfriend of Camille Winbush's character. And, uh, you know, I he's a warm, loving, you know, boyfriend. And uh, he supports his girlfriend even in the times where she gets in her craziness with the holidays and stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I think you're going to, you know, learn to fall in love with my character even more because, you know, it's just relatable. You know, every guy has that situation where, you know, you do the things for your lady, you know, even if you don't want to do it, yeah. just you love them. Yeah. Um, and, uh, through the ups and downs, through the thick and thin, uh, you see that, you know, the love is what keeps them together. So, um, yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much Brandon all in a nutshell. He's just a supportive boyfriend who loves his girlfriend. We love that. We love a black man that loves on his woman. You know what I'm saying? They try to say it doesn't happen. It happens. It happens, man. So, tell us one thing that you love about the holidays, your favorite thing about the holidays. Um, just being around family. You know, um, I'm uh, big on family, so like, you know, in our careers, you know, I, I, you know, I act, I choreograph. So anytime I get a chance to like step away from the professional artistic side of things and actually just have a little personal time with my brothers, my sisters, my mom, my wife, my son, um, those are the times that are golden, and that's what makes all the the hustle and bustle yeah, more full. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Hey, yeah. I love to hear that coming from you. Well, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Tell the people where they can find you on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> you can find me at uh, Victor Show. Uh, B i c t o r s h o. What's up, guys? I think you know who this is, and if you don't, I mean. You got to go watch some movies, some classic black movies. How you feeling tonight? I appreciate that. Of course. I'm doing wonderful. This is, uh, this is really exciting. This is fantastic to be here. Fantastic to see our project uh, come to full fruition, you know. Um, bless. Well, that's, that's good. Okay. So I've been asking everybody, what is your one favorite thing that you love about the holidays? <laughs> Just one. Just one, right? You know, that, that, I was like, which one is going to jump with? Family. Okay. Family. Because uh, my mom was one of ten. So our family always came together, uh, especially during the latter holidays of the year. And that was just a rich time for us to come and just fellowship, get some good eating because they could throw down. Um, so family, family would be that for me. Okay, so last question. Okay. What would you tell to an aspiring actor, producer, writer who wants to have a career that is just as long and lively as yours? Mm. Uh, I would tell them one, class doesn't hurt. Um, I, I am a um, proponent of 
learning and studying so that when you're in situations, you still have something to pull from. It is a profession where anyone can value someone's work. But I feel that for the long duration, the extra work that you put in allows you to have that, you know. I love that. Well, thank you so much. Do you have social media? Can the people find you yeah, on social media? They can. They can. I'm working to do better on it. Um, it's Leonard Earl House uh, for Instagram. Not really on Twitter, but uh, but my Instagram is Leonard Earl House. Okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. House, and congratulations and best of luck. Thank you, man, Johnson. How are you feeling tonight, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So tell us what brought you out tonight. Well, what brought me out tonight, I play Martin in this movie, and that's my lovely wife there. Uh, so I'm a part of the Holiday Hideaway crew. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. tell us a little bit about Martin. Well, Martin is uh, the father, and he also uh, dates a lot of women. And every holiday he comes in with a new girlfriend. Oh, so you that uncle? I'm, no, I'm that dad. That I'm, I'm that dad. <laughs> you that dad, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what kind of mischief did you cause in the movie? Well, I just instigated a lot of things with my wife. Uh, I show off who I am to my boys and and uh, her her husband that she has. So I'm always joking with them and just showing off who I am. Okay, so what was your favorite part about the creative process of filming this film and working with the cast? Well, it was amazing working with the cast. We actually shot out in um, uh, Palm Springs. Okay. Uh, Palm Desert, Palm Desert, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it was amazing. It was an amazing cast, amazing group of people, all women. You know, all women producers, directors, writers, oh, all women producers, directors, writers. <laughs> yeah. We do well. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. Yes, you do. Well, okay, last question. So, what is your favorite thing about the holidays? One thing. If you could pick one thing, what would be your big Family and food. Oh, food. Okay, food. I, I, was, I said one. One oh, thing. Not oh, well, Food and family. Food, family. He put food first, so we're going to say food. Okay, well, thank you so much for starting with us. Thank Congratulations. You. Wimbush, how are you feeling tonight since you look good? Oh, thank you. I'm excited. You should be excited. So tell us a little bit about your character in the movie tonight. Uh, well, I play Carly, and she is the holiday queen. Okay. Like, every holiday, Easter, Thanksgiving, okay. Christmas. She's got all the decorations. It has to be perfect. But as we know, life is not always perfect. Right. Or never perfect, really. No, seriously. But, um, yeah, I mean, this movie is about family and holidays and just making the best of what you've got. Okay, so what would be one thing that you... Um, it's okay not to plan every little moment. Mm, that's some tea for me, girl. I love, <laughs> love to plan some to plan. Okay. So give us your favorite thing. What is your one favorite thing about the holiday? Don't say family because everybody keeps saying family. Pick something else. <laughs> I mean, I love interior design. So decorating for me okay. is the best part. Like putting out all the little trinkets and things. So you be leaving snacks for the Amazon man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. I can't wait to see the film. Thank Let you. Let everybody know where they can follow you at on social media. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Camille S. Winbush. <laughs>